Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll tell you how you can get some volunteer hours if you're in need. Plus, to wrap up Red Ribbon Week, we'll tell you what you should be wearing to school tomorrow, so stay tuned because GTV News starts right now. I'm Evan Kafka. And I'm Leah Thompson here on this chilly Thursday, October 24th, 2013. Tomorrow is the last day to turn in non-perishable food items to your second hour teacher. The food will go to a food drive for the Tri-City area. The class with the most food will win a prize, so get in all food by tomorrow. Red Ribbon Week is nearing the end and you have all been showing your spirit all week. There has been plenty of jerseys throughout the school today and hopefully there will be a sea of blue and white tomorrow for Viking Spirit Day. Remember that Red Ribbon Week promotes a healthy lifestyle. If you are in need of some give hours, then consider signing up to volunteer at the Harland Elementary School Fun Fair tomorrow night from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Any volunteers can sign up for one-hour shifts through Key Club or their web link at mysignup.com slash heartlandfunfair. One club here at Geneva competes in many different cities and has a day dedicated especially to them. GTV reporter Ashley Milan is here in studio with a few of those students. Thank you guys. I'm here with members Kate and Anna from Model UN Club. So I know today is United Nations Day. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? United Nations Day is a celebration of all the member states signing the United Nations Charter. And it's a day of peace and understanding throughout the world. All right. And can you tell us how you will be celebrating this? Because today is a day of peace, the United Nations Club will be celebrating after school. Um, we'll be discussing drones and there will be homemade cookies. So I hope you all can make it. All right, everyone be sure to come check it out today. And um, do you guys have any upcoming conferences? Our first conference is on November 2nd, and we're heading over to St. Ignatius. It's going to be a tough competition, but hopefully we'll come home with some titles. All right, and um, do you guys have any fun facts you would like to tell everyone about Model UN Club? Sure. Um, the United Nations is a great organization. It feeds um, 9 million of the world's hungriest people every year. And in 2009, the United Nations Raise the female literacy rate to 79%. All right, everyone be sure to come check out Model UN. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Ashley. Speaking of Model UN, once again, any delegates who sign up for the Simon Conference, the first meeting will be Monday the 28th at 3 o'clock in room K261. All members who signed up should attend to this meeting. Any AE students that would like to be a mentor for a young elementary school student at Harrison Street School, please see Mrs. Hepker in room A104 to pick up forms as soon as possible. Please consider this important service opportunity. Any students interested in Robotics Club can attend an informational meeting today after school. The meeting will go from 3 to 3.30 in room KK265. Step by to see what it's all about. Anyone is welcome to come. Culinary Club will be in the spirit of fall right after school today in room E182. They will be making pumpkin crepes, pump, pumpkin butter, excuse me, and apple cider. Please bring $2 to contribute to the cost of food. Learn more about different countries at International Club today. International Club meets after school in room J243. Today they'll be celebrating Halloween, so join them for a spooktacular time. And don't forget guys, today after school, Spanish Club will be having their Day of the Dead celebration. Come for lots of fun, food, and games. Everyone is welcome to join, so come on down to room EE182 after school. There are college visits almost every day at the Counseling and Advising Office, and you should take advantage of them. Today, University of Color Colorado Boulder is visiting at 11. Fair State, and Fair State and University is visiting at 1. If you're interested in another college, then head on over to Naviance to see upcoming college visits and to sign up for them. Remember, you, you can have a pass to get out of class, so sign up ahead of time. 
The varsity football team will be taking on Streamwood tomorrow night at 7.30 on Burgess Field for their last game of the regular season. Also, tomorrow night's game is a pink out, so everyone should come pack the stands and wear pink to support breast cancer awareness. And now here's three things to know before we go. Spanish Club's Day of the Dead party is today after school. Don't forget to sign up to volunteer for the Heartland Fun Fair on Friday. And finally, tomorrow will be Viking Spirit Day, so be sure to wear your blue and white to school. Well, guys, keep sending in those closing capture pictures. We'd love to see everything that's going on, especially during Spirit Week this week, so keep them coming. Definitely. That's all we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Evan Kafka. And I'm Leah Thompson. Make sure you get, get your blue, white, and black tomorrow. See you then. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kicked in and the fingers are pumping, quick to the point, to the point, no faking.